Auckland's Next Top Fashions and New Zealand's Next Top Model. Brought to you by Glasson. Over the past eight weeks, New Zealand's Next Top Model has followed the dramatic journey of 13 girls. And tonight we take you behind the scenes to reveal never-before-seen footage. I was in a lot of pain. Watch the extreme highs. Yeah! The devastating lows. I want to get to the bottom of what's going on. You guys can ignore me or do whatever the fuck you want to, you know. And hear shocking revelations. There's no lesbians on my farm. I was treated like a criminal, which I guess I am. It all comes out tonight in the fight to become New Zealand's next top model. After eight weeks of competition, seven girls remain in the running. Aroha, 19-year-old plus-size beauty from Gisborne. Fresh from the farm. Cheap all goods. Aroha's straight up. What do you love about yourself? My, um, breasts. She catwalked her way to first prize at the Glassons Runway Challenge, as well as winning the cover of the My FM Street Jams album. Izzy, 19-year-old half-tongan waitress from Upper Hutt. Oh, yes! <laughs> known for singing her words... Amazing! They are awesome! She created an online stir with this one-liner... Colin Gables. ..and won $1,500 for the best impromptu ad for New Zealand wool. So come to New Zealand if you want some woolly clothes. Hillary, the 17-year-old girl from Gore, who sports a cheeky sense of humour. Seriously, it was really, really good and I liked it so much, it was nuts. She walked away with diamonds at the Ford Red Carpet Challenge <laughs> and took top photo posing with comedian Madeline Sami. <laughs> oh, good times. <laughs> AJ, this 20-year-old Aucklander works at McDonald's and is completely out of her comfort zone. I don't know how to wear makeup. I don't know anything about fashion. I freaking out. And although she's constant entertainment in the house, yes. yes, she's here for more than just a good time. I want to win this. I'm here to win. Rosanna, 17-year-old part Polish student from Napier. She came to the competition with the hoedown throwdown. Pop it, lock it, poke it, dot it, country five in. Oh, and then I forgot it. She put her fears aside to win best photo at Butterfly Creek. Just everything about it is absolutely beautiful. And became one of the stars in the Two Degrees ad campaign. I daydream all the time about becoming New Zealand's next top model. Brigitte. 21-year-old Australian-born waitress from Motueka. Someone give me a glass of milk. The oldest girl left in the competition... I am a red-hot woman. She's the diamond that stood out in the rough at the Pasco's jewellery shoot. One word, Versace. Bianca, 16-year-old student from Auckland. We're not exactly the classic beauty. She carries a lucky lizard and always looks surprised when she wins anything. Did I hear my name right? <laughs> She stood out from the crowd with this photo and posed her way to number one at the Skywalk Challenge. I want to be best every time. <laughs> the third cycle of New Zealand's next top model began in the beautiful Bay of Islands. 33 hopefuls were thrown straight into the deep end with a bikini pose off in front of Colin and international model Theresa Moore. We want to see your three best top model poses. The competition starts now. I want to be wowed. Pose one. A little bit means bag. Two. No, no. Three. Whoa! Oh. Busting it out. I hate hooch it. Hate. <laughs> hooch it right out of yourself. Some girls shone. Ladies and gentlemen, I have seen something today. I know. Look at that. Whoa, be careful. Whoa. Oh! But most were a fish out of water. Get out of my sight. <laughs> and one thought she was on the Titanic. Next! Back on dry land, the girls got a chance to get to know each other. And none of us like have beef or any plug. No, right? Everyone's like... got cool roomies. Yeah. <laughs> but not everyone got off to a good start. <laughs> we don't really get on with Bianca. It's just that me and this girls like live with our boyfriends and stuff, and Bianca's never had a boyfriend or anything, so like when we talk about stuff, she doesn't really know what to do. She's cute, but she's like the like little kid cute. I don't think they get me, especially not AJ. She doesn't seem to think I'm sane. <laughs> First impressions counted more in front of our panel in the ballroom. Hi, how are you? I'm uh, kind of really freaking nervous, <laughs> to be honest. Kind of really freaking nervous. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> there were movers. <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard. <laughs> All right. 
there were singers. I do, I do, I do, I choose you. I come from the town, the kind of town where you live in a house until the house falls down. And Arohar admitted she was learning more than just modelling. I haven't been to the Bay of Islands before and... I know, shocking to say, I didn't actually know that the treaty was signed here, so it's about... Oh, <laughs> I know. Backstage, Arihana tried to focus. Just before I was cooled, I was feeling super nervous, like my stomach was just clenched. Oh, my God. <laughs> and when she appeared, the auditions turned into a circus. I do quite like standing out from the crowd. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> I just want to throw some coins at you. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, those hula hoops were never far away. I suppose I always feel really comfortable when I'm hula hooping. Some girls made us laugh. I play netball. And what do you love? Netball. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And 17-year-old Eden made our job easier by eliminating herself. This morning you said you wanted to go home. Yeah. Why? I just... It's not for me, like, it's... Yeah. The last thing we want is someone who doesn't want to be here. If you want to go, you can go. I just know how I get, and I know that this would be best. That's what I wanted. You know, I can't complain now, so... Probably move to Australia, like... Yeah. As the day drew to a close, Brigitte showed that after a recent tragic event, she was ready to face the world again. My boyfriend died. It wasn't a drug overdose, but it was to do with prescription pills and alcohol. It was pretty tough. Mourning the death of someone you love more than anything else in the world. It basically, he just went to sleep and he didn't wake up. Bad day for me, like, not wanting to get out of bed, not wanting to see or talk to anybody. Like, you could never fully get over something like that, but I've like gotten through the worst of it, I think. After a long day of listening... OK, there's a deer in the background. A deer? It can be real. And learning. Oh. I've got a scar on my weenus. The weenus? You know it's the elbow, yeah. I've got a big weenus. It was time to head to Pompalia House for the first cull. For 12 of you, your dream is going to end now. My nerves were out of the sky, my heart was pounding, my palms were sweating. Are you ready to be colonised? Yes! Then go! And they're like, run. I'm like, I don't know if I want to run. Like, I don't want to be rejected. It'd be so embarrassing. I was like, get out of my way. (laughs) From triumph to tears... For 12 girls, it was time to go home. <laughs> it's pretty guttering to be, like, first eliminated. Even though Tyne made it through to the next round, the emotional roller coaster was already taking its toll. I'm quite quiet. I can't handle all the screaming and all over the top sort of stuff. <laughs> Can't just close your eyes. Oi. Aha, uh-huh, Popo. It does my head in, to be honest, all the noise. For the top 20, Bailey's Beach was the location for a colonial shoot with renowned fashion photographer Russ Flatt. Oh, amazing. Amina was amped. Anchor. AJ was in a daze. Don't walk off the cliff. Yeah, Come just, back towards just us. Just kind of turn around. There you go. And Russ wasn't the only one doing the shooting. Oh. Does it have a thing in it? Uh, no, that's not. <laughs> Tyne was bending over backwards to get a place in the top 13. I used to be able to bend my back in half. I'd be able to get my head on my ass. <laughs> Watch this. Uh, yeah! And eventually it was off to Eagle's Nest to find out who would be moving into the top model house in Auckland. Bushy. As the places were filled, the remaining girls saw their dreams slip away. The last name I'm going to call is Izzy. I can't really describe how it makes you feel when you don't call your name. It's just like an empty void sort of thing. 13 beautiful girls. Your chances of becoming New Zealand's next top model just got a whole lot better. So dry your tears, sharpen your stilettos, and let's go to Auckland. Like top 13, New Zealand's next top model. I mean, (laughs) oh. I'm feeling excellent. I'm stoked to get in.
Coming up, a shock revelation from one of the girls. I think it's totally normal because I have quite a few friends who are swinging the other way as well. Hopefuls left the Bay of Islands with a dream of becoming New Zealand's next top model. I want fame, stardom. I want my name up in lights. No, I'm kidding. I was going for New Zealand's next top model because I thought, what a mean way to learn about fashion and stuff and get a free haircut. <laughs> the girls arrived at their swanky penthouse suite on Auckland's waterfront. <laughs> As soon as the elevator doors opened, we were like, this is where we're staying. We were so excited. And I was just like, whoa, this place is insanely dope. As in really good. But they weren't alone. Why is there another person sitting in this bar? I'm Holly, by the way. Hi. I am the Christmas wild card. Yay! It was quite nerve-wracking that they wouldn't like me because, I mean, I'm going to have to live with these girls for at least a week. Cheers. To new home. Yeah. <laughs> Aroha was more surprised with the kitchen appliances. This place is real different from where I live. I love the food disposer. We have plates at home. We don't have this stuff. It's pretty cool how you can just empty your plate into the sink and then it just eats it up. We need to have, like, something that oh, jabs that, it down good. here. Maybe, oh, maybe get, like... No, don't put it on! <laughs> That's my favourite thing. It's so Hello. Are you going to come sit next to me? As the girls started to settle into top model life, Holly had a shock revelation. They were sort of asked, like, oh, are you in a relationship? I was like, yes, um, I have a girlfriend. There's no lesbians on my farm. However, I do have a gay cousin. I guess I'm more open-minded about those things. Awesome. There's hair on my tie. I think it's totally normal because I have quite a few friends who are... Swinging the other way as well. You guys are the shizzle. Because she was open and honest on the very first day, we were all accepting of it. Cheers, the gas. A new competitor was the least of their worries when it came to makeover time. I thought it was a chihuahua. (laughs) (laughs) One by one, the girls were transformed into models. Some had simple style changes. Hillary and Amber swapped hair colour. And most were excited about their new look. I love it, it's like whatever. I feel like I've jumped in somebody else's body. I like changes and radical changes is awesome. For Tyne, however, the change was too much. I just thought I'd come out of this makeover feeling really good and I feel far from it. You look like a model, bro. I don't feel like it. I feel far from it, in fact. I actually thought um, Tyne was being a spoiled brat. The haircut looks amazing on her, and I just think she was just being a little diva about it. And so began AJ's turn against her. I think I'm going to clash with Ty. But Tyne wasn't the only one in her firing line. I can't eat gluten, cow's milk, goat's milk, sheep's milk, cheese, yogurt, butter or beef, or potato, tomato, aubergine, peppers, paprika, cayenne pepper, chilli peanuts and I can't sit on grass so I'm basically allergic to life. It sucks. <laughs> yeah. At first you're like allergic to gluten and then you're like allergic to like plants and now it's like your list is getting really ridiculous. I think Bianca acts like a victim and it just pisses me off. And how are you and allergic and... to beef? It, um, I, my body doesn't digest it properly. She's got the worst luck in the world. She's like allergic to everything. What's lactose intolerant? I don't know, like someone who shits a lot. <laughs> I'm in Bianca's playing the girls and I think she's going to get far in this competition because it's going to be like the model girl and reels into a beauty, like, you know, like the black swan turns into like this gorgeous goose. Glassons. Um, I'm Anna and this is Juliet. Hi. When the Glassons team came to the house, the girls' fashion sense was put to the test. So we're going to make it really interactive. We're actually going to style each other, which is going to be really exciting. I don't think that I'm disadvantaged. We do have shops in Gisborne, so I feel that I do have a good sense of style. Yeah. This is cute. I like that. Yeah, it is actually a lot of fashion down in Old Gore. Happy pants. Yeah, I love it. 
Just because it's the country music capital of the world does not mean that we're all hicks in little denim overalls with like a piece of grass hanging out of our mouths. We still mill our own flour, but that's just a step that we have to move past. It's a jumpsuit thing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> pain. We've got some great outfits. They did well, didn't they? You guys are all ready to go out now. Only <laughs> we were allowed to. <laughs> It was dress-ups again for the Magnum photo shoot with Steve Tilly. Let the wind catch that outfit. Keep it long, keep it tall, nice. Most of the girls were tempted, <laughs> even those that were lactose intolerant. But not all the girls delivered. Make that smile real. Looks forced. Amina looked very pretty, but it just felt like she was modelling in this beauty pageant. I didn't like it at all. I hated it, actually. And that landed her in the bottom two. Still in the running towards becoming New Zealand's next top model is Brianna. So it was goodbye to the first girl from the top model house. Keep rocking, OK? Week three saw the blossoming friendship of Izzy and Yana. Me and Izzy have definitely bonded. We're yin and yang, actually. She's the brown and I'm the white and kind of match together. <laughs> They're like twins, like personality-wise. They're just really funny together. <laughs> known each other for over a week and we're already like twin, twin. She's just a cool chick. That is ridiculous <laughs> amount of laughing, man. With an impending catwalk challenge, the girls got practicing. I was just in those heels straight away, like walking up and down the hallway, like in the toilet. I don't think my walk is anything to get excited about. <laughs> I think the girls are definitely more aware that it's like a serious competition. We all have to like practice and work hard. It's not just fun and games. Oh my god, they're probably gonna fall over the edge. <laughs> <laughs> they say practice makes perfect. Obviously I kind of need to start pushing myself to try harder if I actually want to get far in this competition. When the crowds gathered at the runway, Bianca delivered the stare of death. AJ went the wrong way, Izzy raced. She was Whitney Houston on crack. And Aroha took top honours. So the winner is Aroha. I want a car. Then the competition heated up in more ways than one at the photo shoot with Tony Drayton. They were smoking hot. Damn, Southland does not have boys like that, eh? There's a male model to my left who I found awesomely attractive. How'd you go on your photo shoot? <laughs> As the girls attempted to stand out from the crowd, Izzy broke the golden rule of photo shoots. When you stand in front of us, you've got lots of energy, yes. but I didn't quite see it there today. Yeah, no. It's like the dress. <sighs> you never ever diss the clothes on set. Rule number one. That attitude nearly sent her packing. The last name I'm going to call is Izzy. But it was Holly who didn't deliver, and she went home. Coming up, brand new footage of hilarity in the house. <laughs> and what you didn't see during an evaluation. I had this feeling that there was a really heavy person with a rugby boot standing on my stomach. Live like a model with Pacific Blue and V Australia. Choose your fashion destination, LA, Sydney, Melbourne or Abu Dhabi and we'll fly you there with four grand to spend. Hit tv3.co.nz, answer a question and you're in the draw. Thanks to Pacific Blue and V Australia. Life in the top model house is always full of surprises. It is shits and giggles the whole time in the house. Colin, take your bite for a pie. <laughs> and with regular downtime, girls will be girls. So when I came into the house, I had a kind of like a crush on Chris. Isn't he good looking? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Cuffed. What the hell? I'm cuffed. <laughs> He's the real man. He's the cool. 
Everybody's always got something really stupid to say that makes everyone laugh. Hey, hey, maybe you just got bigger pants and bigger things. Oh! You took it there! You took it there! Okay, this is me and you. Okay. I'm fluffy bunny! Although there's plenty of larks, their competitive sides are never far away. <laughs> it's exciting. It's just constant buzz. Oh, it's going to get so gross. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Oh, no, Put them in the bowl! Oh, Put them in the bowl! Being in the top model house is very different because I'm used to being the kind of person who wanders around the forest on their own or something. I don't think the girls see me as competition. They just think I'm just here for a fun time. How many did you get? <laughs> Week four and the remaining 11 girls learnt how to pose with choreographer to the stars, Will Sabin. We need to learn from this dude. Real bad. So keep that face. Most girls shaped up. You're going to booty dance to the ground around you. That's it. Face, face. Ah, 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 ah. What else could you do with those bananas? Exactly. That's a great shot. Click. You girls take a look at that shot. She's broken down couture right now. Oh. Snap, 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 snap. Brianna, however, would have struggled to get one frame. No, 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 you're just going to do it. That's I, the thing. I don't know how to hold it. It's really hard because all the other girls are so good and then when it comes to, like, my turn, I'm not as good as other girls. You're not showing any personality. Mm-hmm. Then it was off to the zoo, where behind the scenes, the locals held up production. Andy Blood, creative director of Two Degrees. Okay, girls, I urgently need to. <laughs> <laughs> One more time. Girls, I urgently need you. <laughs> Monkey business over, our girls separated into groups armed with a camera and a photo challenge. We had to get the best feature of everyone's body and put them all together to create the perfect combination. That's fully a clever shot, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But teamwork resulted in a tanty for time. Just don't worry about my arm, guys. We're only doing the legs with me. We can still try other poses, though. Nah. Screw that, man. <laughs> when the model monsters were compiled, all was forgiven when Times Group took the prize. <laughs> then it was straight off to become the faces of an online two degrees promotion. Each of you girls are divided up into different parts of the product. The idea of being an online advertisement is really cool because it's like really good publicity. Like people are going to walk past me one day and be like, hey, look, she's on that two degrees thing where we mix and match the body parts. Maybe. Back at the house, there was no lamenting from the losers. Because Ty and them were away on the challenge. Everyone seemed so much brighter and happier and they were all going, oh, Tyne's not here, we can have some fun. Hold on, where's my iPod? Oh, can you please stop talking, I'm really grumpy. This morning I got woken up by a scream. <laughs> we were bitching about Tyne the other day in the kitchen and it, it was just a negative thing and it was just not a good idea, but can't really take it back. My back is really sore. <laughs> oh, deal with it. I don't change for anyone. <laughs> I don't think anyone is actually orchestrating this whole time vendetta. It's just we've all fell into it, and it's not like it's not a it's not a pretty place to be. It's really actually just ugly. That's the only word I have for it. Soon it was time for the girls to make tracks and meet their co-star for the Pasco's photo shoot. You're not alone, because helping you sell this jewellery is your co-star, <laughs> Vinny. Rosanna couldn't believe her luck. A couple of weeks before the shoot, I actually saw Vinny in a magazine, and I was like, well, he's hot. And, like, you know how you just rip pages of hot people out of magazines? But she wasn't the only one struggling to focus. You guys need to be really close. Like that male model is exciting. And while most literally embraced the challenge, once again the contestant with the least passion was... Amber, 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 Amber. When the girls arrived to be grilled at the panel... Bianca. It all got too much Hi. for Bianca. What's going on? 
There's something happening there. It's very closed body language. What's wrong? Talk to me. Really, Huh? You're right, hun. Yeah, yeah, sit down. Sit down. I wasn't feeling very well. I had this feeling that there was a really heavy person with a rugby boot standing on my stomach. Yeah, have some water. Filming was called to a halt. I was in a lot of pain and I felt real nauseous. It wasn't nice. After she was given the all clear, it was back to business with another unexpected turn of events. Amber, Yana, please come forward. When they were standing there, I had to bite my lip and my tongue and stuff so I would stop myself from crying. Still in the running towards becoming New Zealand's next top model is Amber. And then when they said Amber, like, I was just like, whoa. <laughs> like, slapped me in the face that like, Yana was leaving and then I just couldn't control myself. Coming up, what really went on at Amber and AJ's birthday party? Uh oh, have we done for AJ? Yes. You're such a little diva. I I'm just like, can't be f***ed off this sh And you saw her explode. Now we reveal never before seen footage of the argument aftermath. So you can't say you're not bothered about a lot of stuff because you are. You guys can ignore me or do whatever the f you want to, you know? Like, I'm struggling with this. Model life isn't all glitz and glamour. Life in the house is it's fun. It's just the cleaning thing that's lacking at the moment. Most of the people here are tidying it up. There are some people that when we are doing work won't do anything. Yeah, frustration station. <laughs> that's all I can say. Week five and things were about to get even messier at the Vogue dance lesson. And their dance was outrageous. I was just like, I can't do that. Seven, eight. Although most of the girls struggled to get their groove on... I'm not much of a dancer. Tyne impressed with her flexibility. Yes. Congrats to Tyne. She um, blew us out of the water pretty much. But the dirtiest moves were off the dance floor and it was all over a seat. Something so petty as taking a seat and it was, you stupid bitch, it was nuts. The girls were quick to get stuck in when they thought Tyne had left the room. She was being a rude no, bitch. No. Hey, he's doing it again. She went a bit overboard calling <laughs> you a stupid bitch for sitting in her seat. Hey Ty, are you going to say sorry to Bianca for calling her a bitch? Are you going to say sorry for being really rude? Just drop the sh**. Yeah, but you don't, you don't call you someone a stupid bitch. Drop. It's just a chair, like... AJ, just drop it already. Well, I just don't like rudeness. Yeah, well, neither do I, and I found that rude because that's where I was meant to be sitting. You're such a little diva. I'm I just like... can't be f***ed on this it's hard coming into this competition because you're away from everything. It's hard to be yourself because pressure can just build up and you can blow. AJ proved she's never afraid to speak her mind. The fact that I'm open and honest gets me into lots of fights. Everyone censoring themselves because they don't want to be the next Dakota. <laughs> I think you are the most self-centered bitch I've ever met in my life. I think you have the fattest ass out of all of us and I seriously don't like you. Everyone's terrified. They're like, I want the whole nation of New Zealand to hate me. I'm like, if New Zealand's going to hate me without knowing me, who cares? Colin was not impressed. And in a top model first, he called an urgent meeting with the girls. I want to get to the bottom of, it, of what's going on. So who wants to talk? Tyne's an awesome person. However, her personality is tainted by the disrespect that she gives to us. And it's just a little overwhelming because it's continuous. This is the fashion industry. Tyne's nothing to the divas you will meet. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty, like, relaxed usually and I just go with the flow. Like, I'm not too bothered about a whole lot of stuff. I've heard many comments about you that you're bothered about things. So you can't say you're not bothered about a lot of stuff because you are. You guys can ignore me or do whatever the f*** you want to, you know? Like, I'm 17 and it's really hard. I'm only just finding who I am. I was bullied at high school. It was a bit confidence knocker. 
and it's been really hard to build that all up again. I guess it's just hard knowing who to trust. I get exactly what Tyne's saying, you know, and Tyne, you might not be looking for attention, but you're getting it. You know what, this is a competition, and at the end of the day, I have no, you know, energy or space for people that don't appreciate you or, like, respect you. Don't be distracted. She's allowed to be that person. You're allowed to be your person. You are allowed to be allergic to everything, <laughs> you know? That is called living in the world. Colin's talk made a hell of a lot of sense. I just want to do this to prove that I'm better than all of those girls who used to give me shit for no reason. A new day saw a road trip to Tikuete, where an innocent visit to a farm raised issues for Arihana. Through the whole time I just couldn't stop watching the sheep and just like watching their eyes and they're all just shaking and freaking out. Then they'll be like getting pushed down like these holes into nothingness. I've just felt it revolting, like thinking about how many like sheep went like through the traumatic stress, like just to give me like a warm top. And now she's confused about everything. I don't even know what I feel about Libby yet. Today I just stopped drinking milk. I'm not going to wear wool. It just seems ridiculous if like I'm going to drink milk when I get home and stuff. I'm still going to eat eggs, but that's because we have our own chickens, and like they're happy. A challenge to sell New Zealand wool in an impromptu ad proved disastrous for Rosanna. Action. New Zealand has two main wool exports, which are merino and... And Arihana was still traumatised. I can't go, so... OK, that's it. I just couldn't think of a way to like, advertise the wool industry just after seeing it in this whole new dark way. We have softer type of wool which could be dyed for any fashionable outfit you can find. Izzy, however, used her gift of the gab and took the prize. That was like $1,500 and that's like ridiculously awesome. <laughs> Smash Palace was the setting for the photo shoot and a chance to win the cover of My FM Street Jam's album. God, if I was on album cover, I would make all my friends buy it. The pose could be quite simple, but your face could say it all, you know? <laughs> With some downtime offset, Arihana, Tyne and Izzy seized a chance to relieve some stress. I got to smash the sheeshes out of a car, man. <laughs> it's really exciting. I've always wanted to smash a car up. Like, anger, God. I think I let out a lot of like the angst I needed for the photo shoot. I know it's anger, man. Hi. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> Here we go. Aroha lost it when she started to doubt her modelling abilities. Let's walk away for a second and, and like go, la, 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 and then walk back in with a fresh kind of thing on it. All right? Okay. okay. I had to like stop all, right. all the time, and she like pretty much told me how to pose. But those tears were in vain. The winner of the My FM Street Jams cover shoot is. Aroha! <laughs> oh, look at me, I'm on an album cover. For Brianna and Arihana, it was time to face the music. Still in the running towards becoming New Zealand's next top model is Arihana. And it was Brianna who was left out in the cold. Week six, and for the ten girls left, it was party time at AJ and Amber's 20th birthday. Yes, AJ, you are the man. I will love oh, you. AJ, I don't know. No yes, more shots AJ. for AJ. Yes. It was quite epic. We needed it, especially after elimination. We just needed to, like, let loose and get a bit of liquor down us. A party was a welcome chance for the girls to let their hair down. Amber, when she's drunk, <laughs> she is hilarious. You know that passion and stuff that Colin wants to see? Just give her a bottle of alcohol and you'll just get it straight away. She's just crazy. Emma, I want more passion, more fire in the eye! It felt good. As the younger girls looked on, AJ demanded the truth. Ding, ding, ding! 
AJ was just telling everybody to tell her what we first thought of her when we met. The first time I met you, AJ, I thought you were a little bit crazy. Yeah. You were very intense and I was quite scared. That was pretty much the same speech over and over. When I first met AJ, I thought she was a real bitch. I met AJ on day one and she was a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but now I love all of you guys. Yay! And when morning broke, eyes were back on the prize. At the Ford Colours photo shoot, their styling was taken to extremes. I look like I could be being but ugly Martians with their big heads. Izzy and Brigitte gracefully dealt with the wind machine. I was just like, wing! Yeah, and, I, <laughs> and Bianca stunk. I sucked. Full stop. End of story. <laughs> Back at the house, a comment about Tyne's weight ended in tears. Like, all of us girls in the house have actually had quite a concern about her eating habits for a while. <laughs> One particular person happened to voice it, and um, it didn't go down well. Emotions were still raw at the evaluation. Um, one of the girls came up to me and accused me of being bulimic and I used to get teased about being bulimic and anorexic and it's really messing with my head. I'm going to ask you, are you bulimic? <sighs> no way. OK, then that's the answer. But it wasn't a sympathy vote that won her the top photo. Thank you so much. This isn't school anymore and you shouldn't allow anyone to bully you. Yeah. It's a great photo. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thanks, guys. Surprises continued as Bianca found herself in the bottom two for the first time. The last name I'm going to call is Bianca. Amber, I didn't think I'd be saying goodbye to you. Yeah. But you left me with no choice. After constant demands to step it up, Amber didn't deliver, so had to go. Coming up, Rosanna reveals all about her brush with the law. I was going to court and stuff and I was treated like a criminal, which I guess I am. And unseen outtakes from the studio. <laughs> Go back. That was awful. Week seven was time for our top nine girls to face their fears at Screen Park Spookers. Oh, my God. Most weren't scared to give the haunted house a go. Welcome to Spookers. Ah! Oh! Ah! Ah! You're ready to die. Where do you think you're going? For this no. awesome fun, but it was scary. Nah, nah. <laughs> no! Go away! <laughs> I hate ugly people. I run away from them when I see them. For time, it was a nightmare come true. I get scared really easily. <laughs> I've got like a real visual memory. <laughs> that sort of stuff repeats in my brain over and over. Oh, please get me out of this place. <laughs> when psychologist to the stars Sarah Chatwin turned up to share secrets on how to cope under pressure, AJ revealed a disturbing story from her past. Um, when I was younger, um, my mum was an alcoholic and I used to get bullied a lot because mothers didn't want their children to be hanging out with me and stuff like that. That's a really, really difficult situation for you to be in and it must have been a really hard time for you. So, Although Sarah's insights were helpful, this wasn't the first time AJ had been counselled. At school I had to do counselling. I told the counsellor that she was a bitch and then I got kicked out. Things got even more challenging for AJ at the Sky Tower. Don't, AJ. Don't. I need to see. Oh. <laughs> I just really hate heights, and so I knew that I was going to lose this challenge. 192 metres off the ground, the girls summoned all their courage to pull off their best poses. Titanic. Fierce. Fierce. There was no actual danger. So there's nothing to be afraid of. And with supermodel Rachel Hunter looking on, the stakes were even <laughs> higher. Oh my god, she's just so she's not thinking about what she's doing. AJ was incomprehensible. <laughs> but 
Bianca pushed through her fear to take top prize. Woo-hoo! I was like, don't look down, don't think, just do. That was amazing. It was fun. <laughs> oh my God. At the Butterfly Creek photo shoot, the girls were on edge again with creepy crawlies as their co stars. I've got a little friend. <laughs> As soon as Chris brought out the wish, I backed off and I, I actually didn't know if I could bring myself to do the photo shoot. Oh no, wait, stop, no. <laughs> it was like the one thing that I do not do. You're going to get the alligator. <gasps> Dressed as gods and goddesses, some of the girls gave a legendary performance. Oh, look at that, there's one on your head. Don't move too quickly. You look good. That's gorgeous. But a dead spider got the best of time. I'm actually begging you, no, 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 no. I shat myself. This lack of focus continued long after the photo shoot. Oh my god, it did some buzzy noise. And when it came to elimination, she was in the bottom too. The last name I'm going to call, and still in the running towards becoming New Zealand's next top model, is Aroha. After nearly two months of fighting it out, it was time for Tyne to go. It'd be good to go back home, work, school, go travelling, start my life. But throughout the series, eliminations haven't always been so serious. Yana. Go back. That's awful. I love the tongue at the end. (laughs) Amber. I want to tickle her till she farts. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure how that would look in the photo, Colin. <laughs> it would look exactly the same way. <laughs> I really hate that picture. Yeah. Yeah, you kind of look like Victoria Beckham. <laughs> a compliment or an insult? An insult. No. There's the fly, there's the fly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, like, where is it? <laughs> Rosanna. She's half Polish. <laughs> my eyes! <laughs> she spits in my eyes! Very bulky, isn't it? What do you reckon? Did your balls just drop? <laughs> right. It's big again. She's raw. Life's big. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I got it. I got it! Yay! I got it! I got it. I got it. Week 8 and the girls walked the walk as blogger Isaac Hinden Miller talked to the blogger talk. Lesbians of the 90s rejoice. We found your missing member in Hillary from Gore. I like AJ. She's kind of kooky and weird. As a fuller figure girl, the casting directors probably won't come calling too often. Isaac's opinion hit Aroha hard. I've been experiencing a little bit of negative thoughts yes, about yeah. my weight. I know I need a hard enough, <laughs> but it's hard. I really do like runway and that's kind of what bugs me because they don't really like plus size models on the runway, so that sucks. She was 125 kgs and now she's 65 kgs. She's so hot. Some of the figures of the other girls do intimidate me, like Tyne's like this small and like two of her thighs is like one of mine. But I guess I've got to get used to it because in this industry there's a lot of thin girls and I've, I'm like I'm quite meaty. The pressure was on at the next challenge as the girls navigated their way across the city to get measured, made up and fitted out to make it down the red carpet in time. Who do you think is going to take out New Zealand's next top model? Hopefully me. Who's your favourite judge? Definitely Colin. Relying on others for transport wasn't new for Rosanna. Earlier this year, um, I got pulled up for drink driving. I had to do 40 hours of community service, which I gladly done at the SPCA. At the time, it was like a really scary experience because I was going to court and stuff, and you know, I was treated like a criminal, which I guess I am. Like, it taught me a lesson that I can't break the law and get away with it because it does catch up with you. As the week drew to a close, it was time to suit up for a shoot with comedian Madeline Sami. It's like a man and a woman and a walrus. <laughs> <laughs> but some girls struggled with the unusual brief. Let's see what you can come up with. She pulled out the sexiest move of the night. Teapot on one leg. 
For those that impressed the most, the reward was a trip of a lifetime. You're going from Middle Earth to the Middle East. We're going to Abu Dhabi. But Arihana or AJ would be packing to go home. Still in the running towards becoming New Zealand's next top model is AJ. In the end, the show was over for Arihana. Just seven girls remain. Stay with us as Aroha, Izzy, Hillary, AJ, Rosanna, Brigitte and Bianca compete for the title of New Zealand's next top model. Coming up on New Zealand's Next Top Model. A shock announcement. I've got seven boarding passes in my hand, but I'm only going to give six of them back. Brings tears before takeoff. Someone's going home. And temperatures soar. It's over 40 degrees. When the girls get a taste of international modelling. You've got five more shots, OK? It's your lucky day. Abu Dhabi style. If you didn't bring your A game, you're going to go home. New Zealand's Next Top Fashions and New Zealand's Next Top Model, brought to you by Glasson.